All right. I'm new to this, so I didn't know you couldn't load a 12 minute YouTube video. Ooh, so I've cut this puppy down. There's going to be two parts. You are going to be responsible for both parts. So, get with it. All right, how you doing today? Uh, this is Dr. T with some more words about algebra. And uh, I think I told you earlier on the video you needed a sharp pencil and maybe even a pencil sharpener. If that was true for the box method, you're going to need a whole bag of pencils for this one. Now, before we get started, we are going to be looking at patterns for multiplied binomials. We're going to also uh, be calling this in class, we're going to talk about it in terms of special products. We call it special products because in special cases, we have tricks for getting to the product a lot easier. And uh, before I get started, I also want to give a shout out to my friends up in Virginia, uh, Skip Tyler and the other groups, and uh, other teachers in Henry County, Virginia. Thanks for the PowerPoint. All right, we have formulas or shortcuts that work for certain types of polynomials when we do multiplication. For instance, a plus b squared, when you have a problem that can be written out this way, a plus b squared, you're going to get an answer that's in this form. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Every time. When you have a square that is the difference, that's a difference, this, this is the sum of differences. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the product of a set of differences. A minus B squared. You're going to get A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. And finally, when you have A minus B times A plus B, that's going to always equal A squared minus B squared. Now imagine, if you can keep these at the ready, anytime you run into a problem like this, you don't really have to do all the math. You just have to take the numbers and move them over into the proper equation. So when we have to factor, this is going to come in useful. And you can always, of course, as it says here, you can use one of the methods we practiced in class, distributed FOIL or the box method. Uh, however, using these equations is going to save you a ton of time. Now, let's try the other, the difference, the square of the difference. A minus B squared. This is going to equal A squared minus 2AB plus B squared every time. Isn't that great? So, let's see what we got. We have X squared minus 2X5 because we have an X and a 5. Remember, we have to use the negative sign. 5 squared, that's the b squared. When we simplify, x squared minus 2 times 5 is 10, and the x plus 25, which is 5 squared. Now let's try this one out. Uh, 4x minus y, we end up with 4x squared, because 4x is our a. Uh, we have the negative sign from here. We have our 2 from here. We have our a. 4x, and we have our b, y, all right? All of that's there, and then we have our y squared. Then we're going to simplify. We end up with 16x squared minus 8xy plus y squared. Try one of these out and see what you get for an answer. I'll be back as soon as you hit play. Okay, hopefully you got answer number two. If you didn't, work the problem again. So let's try this. Remember this was our third type of problem. Uh, we've got our x's. Here we brought down the x. Here's our negative 3. Here's our x. Here's our positive 3. And we're going to multiply those first terms. And what we're going to get is x squared. Then we're going to multiply the outer terms, our x and our 3, and that's going to give us 3x. And then, of course, we're doing FOIL, so we're going to multiply the inner terms, the negative 3 times the x, and that's going to give us negative 3x. And then we multiply the last term in each expression, which is negative 3 times 3, and that's going to give us negative 9. We combine like terms. And look at this, oh my, plus 
plus 3x minus 3x, we know what that equals. So that ends up giving us a simplified term, x squared minus 9. Pretty easy stuff, actually. So, these middle terms eliminate each other. That's why here we have a binomial, not a trinomial. So keep that in mind when we have a negative and a positive, we're going to eliminate the middle term. Okay, the difference of squares. Now, let's try another one. We're going to use the same method. So now, this is the trick, right? This won't work if you have different numbers here. We have to have everything the same except the plus and the minus. Hey, I told you this was special products. It's not for everybody or everything. We had our x minus 3 or x plus 3. We're going to sub in. We end up with x squared minus 3 squared. Everybody knows what 3 squared is. x squared minus 9. Hopefully you see that falling into place. And now, let's try this one. Again, we've got y and y, 2 and 2, the only difference is the sign. So we're going to have y squared minus 2 squared. 2 squared is? Very good, 4, very good. All right, so let's try this one. We've got 5a plus 6b, 5a minus 6b. So the terms are the same, the signs are different. So, of course, we're going to get 5a squared minus 6b squared. Remember, we're going to work inside the parentheses. There's nothing to do there. Then we're going to work on the exponents. So we're going to square both sets of terms. We get 25a squared minus 36b squared. Now, try this one. 4n minus 3n times 4n plus 3n. And if you notice the terms in the, B, in the A slot are the same, the term in the B slot is the same, the signs are different. So, I'll give you a second to work this one out. Okay, I'm back now, and I hopefully, hopefully, you eliminated the trinomials because you knew already that this is going to result in a binomial. So, we should have eliminated these two. Now, the correct answer, of course, is number one. I hope that the shortcuts are going to help you have an easier time multiplying polynomials of a special case. And as always, I really, truly look forward to seeing you in the classroom.